Hi there, it's Sam from Poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I have a lovely, cute pinch clothes bag. I'm calling it a pinch clothes bag, you can call it something else. But it's got a little tie at the top. It's not actually, I haven't punched holes in this one. And that's where you'll pop your goodies in there. And it holds perfectly a bar of soap of many sizes if you are a handmade soaper. And I like to... Um, try and make things for all sorts of different people and I haven't made a box for sopas or a bag for sopas for a while so this is for you but obviously by the size of it it is great for holding all sorts of things it's one and a half inch bottom and um, four and a quarter inches wide and that is a four centimeter bottom and I think it's oh I think it's a ten centimeter side I can't remember exactly it's a good size. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to make it. This is using the Retro Fresh paper, um, and basically it's all new things from the spring catalogue, so I'm going to show you how to make it. And you need your simply scored scoring tool, and you need a piece of designer paper which is 6 by 12, um, which is 15 by 30, so basically it's half of a full sheet of 12 by 12 paper. And if you're working with a pattern that is obviously that it's meant to be one way round or the other, you need your pattern to be straight up when you're cutting it straight across. Not that way round because your wibbly bits would be in the wrong direction. So the scoring, quite easy. Um, don't forget I always put everything on my blog and I always put a direct project link in the description bar. So click the show more and you'll find a link that you can click and go straight there. Or obviously you might be watching this on my blog. So, long side at the top you score it at four and a quarter inches. Um, five and three quarters of an inch. Ten inches and 11 and a half inches and in metric that is 10 centimetres, 14 centimetres, 24 centimetres and 28 centimetres. So there you go, it's 10 centimetres, 10 centimetres across there and four there. There you go, I knew I'd get there eventually. And then you turn it round and so that you've got your pattern there, we're going to score the line that is going to come across the bottom. So you need whichever way up you want your pattern to be, you need the bottom to the left. And you score that simply at one and a half inches, which is four centimetres. This is such an easy bag, it really is. Let me move the scoring tool out of the way. So fold your score lines. So do the long one first because obviously it's 12 inches long. And then come along and fold up your short um, score lines as well. And grab your paper snips, which you if you're like me, you cleverly forgot to get out, and you're going to cut off, you probably can't see it very well on that side, but there is a little skinny bottom there. Cut that one off, and then cut all of the rest. And I love this retro fresh paper. I wasn't struck on it when I first... Um, received it. I got a free pack at convention, European convention, and then I got another free pack because I met a, 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 a promotion that, that we were doing for demonstrators and I just thought, really? You keep giving me this stuff? Really? It's not me? And I got it and my, my philosophy is that, sorry, while I'm talking, sticky strip on this little bit you cut your notch out of and along by the, close, by the score line. Um, but my philosophy with paper is if I like the look of 50% of the paper in the catalogue then I will buy it because I can know that I can use all of it because I just don't use the, the sides that I don't like. And I find invariably when I get it home that I do like at least 75% of it. Um, and this is one that has grown on me more and more as I'm using it. And I didn't think I would like arrows but I love it. Oh, they're so cool. How cool is that? Anyway. So we've got this piece of sticky strip along there, and then this, that's going to fold round to the back. So this one that's going to be our front, turn it over and put sticky strip on there close to the um, edge this time. Well, I like the Retro Fresh because it's got bits to go with it. It's a, pro it's a full you know, product suite, and I'm going to bring in the other bits to it as well. Um, because they're all part of this project. So backing off there, and because all of the sides are equal, you can actually very easily just fold over and stick it down. And then you lift it up, you bring in your sides first, the one without the tape, and the one with the tape last. You can get your paper piece and tool to work it. Can't get that off today. There we go. And then you just pinch in the sides and use your fingers just to ma manipulate down. 
and then depending on how dexterous you are with holding things down I grab a couple of paper clips just to um, just to hold it close while I get the ribbon around it and these are great these are metallic ribbon uh, metallic clothes pins I'm not using them in the project but I'm using them to hold everything in place because they're strong little things the ribbon I've got is the new ribbon it's the natural trim so it is it has got the chevron print on one side but not the other uh, teeth in not the other side so you have to be careful with how you tie your knot so that you don't get um, the back and the front and everything um, facing the wrong way I'm going to be lucky if I can tie any kind of a bow or a knot, let alone one that's facing the right way up. But we'll, you know, we'll have a go. It could have been worse. That's not too shabby. So... There we go. And you can take these bits. You can take these bits off and apparently take the ribbon off as well. But basically, it is a slide on, slide off, and uh, ribbon, and it keeps the bag closed. Do you know, this is what happens when you don't film a video for a week and a half. You completely lose the plot. There we go. Ribbon on. Okay, let's bring this one back in. I've used the journaling tags, and I said before about it being very much a full suite. There is a, um, a, a journal that you can buy, but you can get the journaling tags as well. And I'm not a journal girl, so I got these because I thought I could put them on card fronts. And actually, my five-year-old five -year and I now say awesome sauce to each other all of the time. But these little ones are brilliant because you're just going to stamp straight on them. I've picked one out already, and it's got the tangerine tango border. This is the one that actually was the opposite side to this paper that matched it, uh, matched it. But it all matches brilliantly. And then I've got the hip notes, again from the same suite, it all goes together. And I've got the stamp ready on it. I've got hip hip hooray this time, and I haven't stamped this one first. So when you first get a rubber stamp, you kind of have to take off the newness, and it's got a very tiny film. So you stamp it, and then you grab a scrap of paper and stamp it down. And you will see that the image isn't quite perfect, but you've kind of taken off the newness now. Which means that the next time I stamp, aiming to get this lined up and in the middle, it's a perfect image. Why is that not working? Oh, it's because I've got a glue dot stuck on it. <laughs> there is a glue dot that you probably can't see that I've managed to stick in the middle. We'll pretend it's not there. But anyway, that's what you do with your brand new stamps. You stamp them off first. Right, we'll pretend. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. That's because I was on the phone just before I was filming this video and I was chatting away. So, right, the Essentials Wooden Elements, again part of the same suite. These you can stamp on, and as you can see, I'm inking the edges up. And they are fabulous, and they're just so much fun. And, oh, just dropped my glue box couple of dimensionals on the back of this one, where I've put the greeting with the mini glue dot. <laughs> oh my goodness. We'll get the mini glue dots, the offending things out, on the back of these. One on there. And one on the back of there. And pop it on. Oops. Lined up. And that is my bag. I can't, believe, I can't believe that. How silly. Look, I give you live bloopers. You love it, really. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Do go and make a bag and do go and check out Retrofresh and, and look, behind, look beyond the, the paper pattern that you dislike and look at the ones that you do like. And you'll find that you maybe like more, all of them. Anyway, thank you. Bye.